Well, the library is run by taxes, and of course the tax base has changed somewhat with um, new houses not being sold and things of that sort. So it does affect uh, the running of the library financially. I see. You've, uh, you were forced to uh, make a few layoffs, unfortunately. Yes. We have had, well, we had one person quit, which we will not replace, and then we had to lay off a couple. And some of our full-time people, uh, three of them went to part-time. And we also, everyone is taking a 10% pay cut. And uh, you're also reducing uh, your hours of operation. That's true, because every time we reduce somewhat, it helps with the bills as far as the heating and cooling. So we'll be open now Monday through Thursday from 10 until 6, Friday and Saturday, 10 until 5. Okay. And of course, the uh, Friends of the Library are doing their best to assist. They have been so great. They have donated $1,000 to our summer reading club. We're going to be having a great time this summer. We're starting our kickoff next week on the 16th at 10 o'clock with a storyteller, Jim Coogan. And all the classes will be, will be meeting then at 10 o'clock on the 16th. After that, we'll be having our classes on Tuesdays and Wednesdays for the children with a water day outside on July 7th. So we have some games we're going to play. Everybody's probably going to get nice and wet. Okay. We have some crafts, and we have a clown who does balloons and face painting that is coming. And the friends have helped sponsor all that. So we're really excited about that. Beautiful. Volunteers are uh, encouraged to uh, come forward. Yes, we can always use volunteers. Right now, I'm trying to get enough volunteers to help with the summer reading club. It takes about six volunteers each day, plus the the water day on the 7th, we're going to need people to volunteer each one of the booths where the children are going to be playing the games. So maybe the parents would like to volunteer that day and they can be here. We'll see what happens. I'm sure we'll have enough volunteers when the time comes.